Hey there, everybody. Good morning. We're a few minutes late, but that's okay. Good things are worth waiting for. We're going to continue our conversation on work that matters this morning on 7 Minutes in the Morning. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. All right, well, it might take us a few minutes to get the camera's working. It's pretty hard to do a live stream show when your camera's not working, but but we got it. It's up. It's running. The uh, Instagram live stream's up and running as well, so good morning to everyone, whether you're watching uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. All of those are awesome, and if you happen to be, be listening to the replay on your favorite podcast catcher, thank you for being here. Regardless of where you are, do what Joe has done already and George. Leave a comment, say good morning, and if and only if you get any value whatsoever out of our time together this morning, leave an old thumbs up, a heart, a like, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching. This week we have been talking about work that matters, how to find and do work that matters. We kicked it all off at the beginning of the week by sharing kind of this baseline concept that, that most of the things that I talk about are based on. That you and I and everyone are uniquely gifted, talented, and placed to do work that matters. It's the unique combination of gifts and talents, time, and location that makes us special. And the role that we are supposed to play makes that the role that we're supposed to play special. So today I want to continue uh, digging into that a little bit with this idea that it is only through your emotional labor and your sweat equity that you find the true joy and fulfillment you're looking for. So we got to unpack that a little bit, right? Emotional labor. That is, you know, I used the example earlier in the week where, you know, you work all day and I call it the cracker box. You work all day in the cracker box and you hate it and it's miserable and you can't wait to leave and you're depressed and oh, I got to go, get, get out of here. And then you go home and you work for four or five, six hours doing your hobby or the yard, the whatever, right? What's the difference? Why can you do that and you, and, but, and, and enjoy it, but you hate the cracker box work? Well, because the other work is emotional labor. You are putting your emotion, your heart and sweat, sweat equity into that work. And that's what makes that work special. So it is only through pursuing the um, your emotional labor right emotional labor that which you plug your emotions into and where you gain sweat equity that you really find the joy and fulfillment that you're looking for now sweat you know might be literal might be figurative probably literal right but that sweat equity is the the value that you gain from actually doing the work so many people want to um, tick off a set of boxes and say, okay, I've done the work. Give me my reward. Doesn't work that way. That That's not the way that, that all this works. Finding and doing your work that matters, getting that emotional, the, the joy and fulfillment out of that, that comes from work. Just like the puzzle. I love the puzzle for this analogy. You don't get to see the whole picture. You don't get the, the fulfillment of seeing the completed work of art if you don't put the work into it. Is it in there? Yes. The, the exact same piece of art exists in that box, even when the pieces are all broken up. The only difference is you haven't put the work in to see it. So you have to do that. You've got to put the sweat equity in. You've got to put that emotional labor in in order to get that fulfillment that you crave. And I want to hit crave for just a minute. I talked about that earlier this week. We'll talk about it some more as we continue through the week. Craving is okay. A, a craving, you know, our, our, um, our pediatrician told us years and years and years ago, <laughs> they're not that old. 
told us when our children were little, right? We were worried about what they were eating. My wife especially was worried that they weren't getting enough veggies and that sort of thing. And he said, he told us, that our bodies will crave the things that it needs. All right? Now, we can short circuit and we can override some of those cravings by teaching it to desire other things. But at the end of the day, it's going to crave the things that it needs. Well, well, this is exactly the same way. Because you are uniquely gifted, talented, and placed to do something special, to be your piece in the puzzle, it's going to call to you. It's going to create cravings in your mind and your body to do the things that you're supposed to do. It makes sense. I mean, it, it, it makes perfect sense to me that if, if I'm, I mean, a hammer has a craving to hit things. Well, maybe that's a bad example, but you get the idea, right? That's what it's made to do. So that's what it does very well. And by finding the right tool for the, for the right job, we can leverage, you know, our own energy in order to get more work done. Well, this is exactly the same thing. I am here as a tool. You are here as a tool to achieve the bigger purpose of completing that puzzle. So it's going to call to you. Follow your cravings. They are leading you in the right direction. All right. All right. That's it for today. Look at that. We're going to be under seven minutes. I hope that you have a wonderful Wednesday. Uh, we're going to be back here again in the morning with another uh, installment of seven minutes in the morning. Although I'm going to have to figure out how to do it from the road. We are taking a little road trip uh, this afternoon, but we'll figure that out. We'll get it. And uh, we will be here in the morning to continue this conversation, whole series this, this whole week. And uh, by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should do that at Tom Rigsby. Uh, I'm putting out some, some companion content there as well. And you can always find, these quotes and discussions over on the website, tomrigsby.com. Just look for quote of the day and that'll get you to the right place. All right. That's it for today. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday. I will talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>